Welcome to this episode of Doorway to the Paintings. And this painting here is a painting that I like very much. It's a painting that I did um, uh, quite a few years ago, probably about uh, maybe 12 or 13 years, I'm guessing. I'm thinking. And it's one of my favorites. It has a lot of elements that I use in other paintings. And it's uh, a painting that... Uh, is going to be similar to other paintings that I'll probably show you in the future and probably already is with the pillars, the columns, the, the types of buildings that are in this painting and uh, some of the characters. So let's take a look at this painting and get started. Yeah, the buildings is, uh, that's a common theme in a lot of my other paintings, that type. Uh, these types of buildings I really like doing. I like to exaggerate them, kind of make them look like they're unstable. Uh, almost uh, symbolic of a society that's ready to collapse. And these buildings are, are kind of unsteady looking. And then the windows are not perfect squares. They're off. And I like doing them that way. But then again, on the other hand, you have your reality here with the tree looking somewhat real and then you have the street light which I love putting street lights next to trees in my paintings I really do this tree is pretty well detailed and defined going up here where the street light I love how the street light hits the tree how the light illuminates this part of the tree and it, it illuminates the uh, this part uh, of the uh, tree here the bark you can see there's shadows here and there with it but then the bark that's illuminated by the light that's pretty cool a little impression thrown in here where a curtain is extra long. I exaggerated this little curtain coming out here so it kind of gives it a kind of ghostly kind of uh, somewhat of a windy kind of uh, look to it. It's carrying this material and blowing it in this direction going that way. And then of course I have this here this this TV with the red and black, <laughs> the red and black colors I've mixed together in my other paintings too. It kind of goes back to that new line cinema that, uh, that I explained before that when I was a kid, I saw the new line cinema logo flash kind of, uh, red and black, um, sequentially red and black on the screen. And this kind of, uh, that inspired this. That's kind of where that comes from. Something about that, it stayed with me for a long time. And like I mentioned in my other video, I saw that whenever I watched um, Nightmare on Elm Street as a kid at the theater. It was 1984 and I was a seven years old. <laughs> and I saw it at the theater and then it was a double feature. The next movie was The Evil Dead, the original, <laughs> with Bruce Campbell, a double feature at nighttime. It was that's an experience I won't <clears throat> I won't forget. Fun memory. <laughs> and then this color, that the red and black sequential colors of New Line Cinema stayed with me. That was pretty cool. That was pretty interesting. And this character here, jeez. He uh just came to mind. I just figured, well, let me make him bald and then maybe put a purple robe or some type of purple clothing on him. He's not supposed to be anybody in particular. I have more of a distant view of him here. Yeah, he's not supposed to be anybody in particular that I've seen, but probably subconsciously and his head kind of looks like Gromus, his eyes, but that's not him. And he, uh, he's probably thinking of something deep. Who knows what's in his mind? I think he's a very interesting looking character and kind of makes you wonder what's going on inside of his head. 
Then you have these characters, typical characters in my paintings in the background with the white robes. Again, those white robes kind of being um, influenced uh, by a, quite a few things. Maybe almost like ancient druids, but then like I mentioned in the other video, Halloween 1, when they're standing out in the courtyard in Halloween Part 1, uh, when it was raining and had really a wonderful scene where it was raining. It was nighttime, and then you've seen them in the hospital gowns. These are not hospital gowns, but... In my mind, when I saw Halloween 1, I immediately thought of, like, ancient robes and then some of my pillars and my columns, and I thought, gee, I gotta paint that. I mean, it doesn't look, if, if you just saw this, you might not even think of Halloween 1, but that's kind of how my mind, that's where my mind went to characters like this and then pillars, and I have other paintings where there's rain that uh, was really, really fun to paint. And that influenced, uh, that influenced me quite a bit. Yeah, this, this tree has the roots going right into the ground, right into the cement, which is cool. And then this building's not very stable. I put a crack in it. <laughs> there's a crack right there. Who knows if it's going to collapse. And then there's a plant. I put the plant with a vase in the building. And then again, another curtain where the wind is just taking it. And it's flowing out into the wind. But I just love those trees in here. And then my other paintings, I'm talking about these trees. And then the light hits them. I think Halloween 1 and Halloween 2 and 3 and some other movies like Escape from New York. And then uh, um, there's a few other movies too where the light, uh, some type of light, it was either a street light or something else, hit the tree. And for some reason I like that look. And you got the background here with all these characters. And you have the pillars. I like mixing in ancient stuff with modern stuff. Kind of going way back there so you could see the trees. There's trees back in there next to this, this building. Kind of makes me think every time I see something like this, even though I painted it, <laughs> my imagination, it, what's beyond this? What's beyond these trees? What's beyond these buildings in the background what's beyond it and then oh yeah before i forget i wanted to show you a few of my other paintings because i don't know if i'm going to make videos about these other paintings or not but they're kind of simple nature paintings <laughs> i know it's kind of i'm kind of going off the the track here it's totally different from the painting i'm making this video for but I just figured I'd show you some of these other paintings that I did and sometimes people like my nature paintings better than the ones I usually show like this and this these two and then over here paintings like this I like these don't get me wrong I really like these they come natural to me some of my first paintings were nature paintings. That's how I practiced and got better and better. I did the characters too, but this is kind of how I started. But uh, this is not one of my oldest paintings, but it is probably about five years old. Then I got uh, this one over here. I, I like this one quite a bit with the sun and then the light beams, the wavelengths, the light beams coming in. I might do videos about these in the future. Just wanted to show you. And then the, the, the beautiful morning sky, then you got the silhouette of this tree. Uh, a lot of people like these paintings of mine the best. I like them a lot too. 
but I don't find them as interesting as uh, my other paintings with the the dark building, uh, the dark trees, and then the fog, and then the characters. But this is beautiful. But to each his own. Everybody has their taste. Here's a nighttime painting, which I usually prefer. But in this case here, these are. I like these almost about the same because it's such a beautiful morning painting with the pink sky and everything. I really like this one with the soldiers, <clears throat> with the soldiers silhouette. My throat's dry. I might have to get a drink of water and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Feel feel better now. Maybe one of my characters was playing a trick on me or something, but anyway. Yeah, I really like this painting. There's my ancient pillars again. I might have to do a video about this separately in the future. I think I will. I was going to show you real quick now, but I might... This is one that I really like a lot, so I might make a video on it separately. I'll show you a couple more here. This is a painting that I like a lot. You have a warrior here. He might do battle with these creatures. Who knows, but... This is also some paintings that I do. I like this a lot. It's not my favorite type to do, but I really like it. And the theme of action, I really like action. And uh, anyway, keeping with the theme of action, let's go to something even more action-packed than this. <laughs> okay, totally different painting, totally different scene, totally different purpose, but I like it. Yeah, this is a painting that I did uh, maybe 10 years ago. I like this very much. Just to show you a few of my other paintings that I do, and we'll get back to the, to the main painting that I'm talking about tonight. Sorry we left you for so long, buddy, but I had to take care of some business. But anyway, as far as those other paintings go, I might not uh, do another video, or I might not do a video on each one of them. That's why I showed them to you now, because I might not do videos for all of them, but I'll probably do videos for a few of them, especially that one with the silhouette of the soldiers, and then that you had the ancient kind of Greek or Roman style columns in the background. That's right up my alley, so I might do a video for that one. And the rest of them are good too, I'll consider. And uh, I'll definitely think about making a video for this one in the future because this is one of my all-time favorites this sea creature or these sea creatures here kind of the time of the titans uh, i'll get into that perhaps in a future video i love that painting but yeah this guy here what are you thinking about sir you're you seem to be in deep thought <laughs> but uh looks like he's getting surrounded but yeah, these characters in the background are typical of a lot of my paintings. Figure, take a look at that moon. Really like that misty type of moon. I like the clear moons too in my other paintings, but this has a nice misty effect. Really like it. Imagine if you were in one of these buildings here. Like if you were in this one. Then you could see the... Uh, the light hitting this building on the side right here. You can see the light. It's pretty cool. Then you got the light there too. You got some light from the moon hitting both of those buildings. Got the stars. There's so many elements in this painting that I really like. It's one of my fortes. It's one of my typical types of paintings. I've done a lot like this. It's one of my trademarks, so to speak. Not so much this character here. I do have other paintings, I think, with characters similar to this, with the, the robe and everything, but usually the trees, the buildings, and then these people with white robes, and these columns, that's usually my bread and butter. And you got this TV. <laughs> I really like it with the uh, 
the red lines going through it. Maybe he was watching the beginning of Nightmare on Elm Street or Evil Dead or whenever New Line Cinema had that sequentially red and black logo shine or flash on the screen. That's why I put it in. I, that was my partial influence for it. Got these bushes here next to him. These planters he's sitting next to. With the, the bushes inside them. It's like almost like brick or rock. Coming down here too. He's got a good build. Chiseled chin. Maybe he's related to Gromus. He kind of looks like him. This guy's watching him. Yeah, we can just imagine this city is really, really huge. Maybe in the distance there's more and more trees, though. Not much lighting. I mean, there's lighting so you could see it, but there's only one street light in the painting that I could see. I can almost feel the, the air against my face, and I can breathe it, that night air. Yeah, this is one of my favorite paintings. Get a fuller view of it. Kind of get the complete view of it here. Now just taking one more look at that moon. Matches good in the background and then you got the stars and these pillars, these ancient pillars and all these characters walking underneath them and around them and inside them. Yep. Zoom back out, get another full view. Hope you like this one, guys. I know I sure enjoyed looking at it again. It's been a long time. I found it again today. Well, if you like this video, guys, consider subscribing. And uh, I'll be back in the future uh, for another video. And uh, if you like this one, hit the like button. And on another night, after midnight, when uh, it's dark and maybe foggy, I'll be back. So everybody, take care and good night.